Hi, this is Nick from Canada Weld coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, today we're going to take a break from talking about our welding machines and we're going to talk about something that I'm really excited about. We have a new line of welding helmets. Uh, we all put our heads together down here at the Canada Weld office and we talked about the best features we could possibly find in a helmet. Fast tin speed, four sensors, uh, lightweight, grinding option, um, and a cool paint job. So this is what we came up with and I'm really proud of these helmets and I want to run over some of the features of them today. So this black one here, the plain black one, I've gone ahead and taken the headgear out and I have the cell here and I have the backing plate here. But before we talk about that, uh, I just wanted to pick up each one of these helmets and show you the paint job that uh, we came up with for you guys. So this one here has the black, red and gray sort of tribal design with the Canada Weld logo. I like these, they're pretty flashy. Uh, this one here with the swooshes and the maple leaves is actually my favorite. This is the one I'm currently wearing out on my job site right now and I, I like it a lot. And then we have sort of a blend of the two with the larger maple leaves and it's got the can of weld on the side, it's got the can of weld on the top and sort of like the racing stripes. So uh, yeah, I really like the paint job on these helmets, they came out quite nicely. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's included with the kit and how to put these cells together for this one right here. So first let's run over some of the features. Uh, like I said, these helmets have a 1 in 250 thousandths of a second tin speed. It's the fastest we could possibly find. Uh, if you're welding all day in any sort of a production environment where you're constantly up, down, up, down, up, down, you know as well as I do that a quick tin speed is going to save your eyes in the long run. Uh, so looking here, you can see we have the main light sensor but there's also four more sensors down here because sometimes maybe you're looking up a little bit and you'll strike an arc low or someone is directly over to your side and they're going to strike an arc and if your sensor is only here it's maybe not going to pick it up and tint that fast right so by having the four sensors it gives you more protection for your eyes throughout the day so let's go ahead and flip this around and you can see that these helmets uh, will tint from shade 5 all the way up to shade 13 if you're not sure what shade for you to use you can go ahead and look in the manual and we've included this handy chart here which will let you know if you're TIG welding at so many amps you use this you know this particular shade if you're just grinding you use this shade you know whatever so you can use that as a reference point point. and to adjust from 5 to 8 you would use the switch here and then if you want to go from 9 to 13 you just click it over and you use the same knob and set your adjustment here here, this one in the center, you can adjust your sensitivity. So sometimes maybe you're grinding and welding back and forth and your helmet's constantly tripping out and you're losing, losing visibility, so you might want to turn down your sensitivity. Or if you're getting flashed throughout the day because there's a lot of smog in the air or whatever, turn up your sensitivity. Uh, you can also adjust your delay. So depending on the type of welding that you're doing, you can set a small delay so that it doesn't tint automatically. And down here you can see we just go from grind to weld. Uh, if you need to replace the batteries in these, these have a nice common battery. There's two lithium batteries on each side. Whoop. They pop out just like that. And these are easy to find. You can pick them up at any hardware store, any Canadian tire. They're not a special battery that you're going to have to run all over the place looking for. These helmets are rated to be used in 10 degree weather all the way up or I'm sorry, minus 10 to all the way up to plus 40. They should run just fine and not have any problem with tinting. I've used mine in colder conditions and didn't have any troubles, but uh, okay, so there we go. It's all put back together. So here is sort of the carriage that fits into the helmet. So what you need to do is take this part, attach it to this, and then I'll show you guys how to put it into the helmet. So if I remember correctly, that's the bottom and that should be the back so we'll take it like this Let's see if I've done this right okay so now we're set like that it's in the carriage now uh, like I said I pulled out the headgear in this so you guys could see a little better there's two tabs up here you want to line those tabs with these two fingers slide it down and then these are like little spring-loaded fingers so you want to push these down until they lock in place 
Okay, there's one side, two side, and boom. Now we're ready to go. And so this helmet is all set. Uh, what's included in the kit when you buy the helmet is a nylon carrying bag that says can of weld on it. Uh, it also comes with a cleaning cloth, comes with one spare lens for the inside. This is the inside one, and this is your lens for the outside. These viewfinders are 98 millimeter by 88 millimeter, so these lenses you can pick up pretty much anywhere that sells welding equipment. You don't necessarily have to search all over the place. They're easy, common sizes. They're just the biggest ones we can find. Uh, also, comes with the manual, and like I said, it's got that handy chart in it, but it also shows you how to set up your headgear, lets you know what all the functions are, and gives you some maintenance and troubleshooting advice uh, should you need it. So if you'd like to take a closer look at any of these helmets, uh, follow the link down below. That'll take you to our newly revamped website. You can get a closer look at these things. And if you want to go ahead and subscribe, if you like what you see, that'd be great. We'd appreciate it. And don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And so until next week, guys, stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.